hey guys welcome to digital screeny channel on youtube and as usual i request you to please subscribe to this channel and continue watching this video now in this video let's uh, put together a deep learning model for training for age and also for gender we're going to use the same data set but we'll define two different models and the key here is not just defining these models i mean you can you can put together your own models to you know for for these tasks the goal here is to train those so we get a model for age and a model a trained model for gender and in the last video if you haven't watched it i definitely recommend you to watch the last couple of videos in the last one we trained a model for emotion detection using a different data set in the next video, we are going to combine all of these. In fact, in the one before that, we actually used OpenCV's facial detection. So in the next one, we are going to de detect the face first using OpenCV, and then we are going to detect the emotion, age, and gender for the detected face and print it out on the screen. And we're going to do that live using the webcam feed. Okay, now for that, obviously we need a couple of models uh, for age and gender, and the goal of this video is to just do that. So let's jump in. Okay, so here is the code in my Spider IDE, and I'm going to leave the link here and also down in the de description so you know exactly where to get this data set. If you click on that, you will get here called UTK face, and I downloaded this one, the center one, aligned and cropped faces. And this has, oh, it's a good thing to look at README. First of all, it's got uh, 23,700 images, various images. As you can see, each image is 200 by 200 in pixel uh, dimension, I believe. Uh, They're all the same, 200 by 200. And the name is such a way, I mean, you see the file names right there, 100 and so on. If you want to know exactly what that means, they have a readme file there and you can kind of uh, read that right here as you can see age i'm just summarizing that here okay so the first is age and then gender and then race yeah so age 0 to 116 and 0 is for male when it comes to gender one is for female so if we go back if i go back to this file right there so this age is one and that's a male right zero so we only need these two. So if I go all the way down, so look at this. This is age is 39, and that's a female because that's number one right there. That's it. So which means when we have to read the name of each file and then extract the first component, which is our age, and the second component, which is the gender, to label our uh, images. Okay, with that knowledge, let's jump into the code. So first of all, let's go ahead and import the libraries and some of these I'm not even using, but since I defined them, let's go ahead and import them anyway. And now here, this is where my uh, images are. And I start with three empty lists, image, age, and gender. Obviously, I'm populating these lists as I'm reading each of these images. So for each of these images in this path, split it at underscore why because that's where you know split at the underscore and then once you do that the zeroth one which is the first one right there is the age right we are going to assign that to ages uh, a variable called ages and the gender is the second one right so one right there that's exactly how we are capturing this information and then basically the remaining is uh, something that you should be familiar with read the image using OpenCV and convert the BGR image to RGB. Why? Because when we print out, it looks pretty on the screen. And convert that into, add that into our images right there after converting into NumPy array. So also do the same with age and gender. So after these, we should have, I'm thinking whether we should run this. So let's go ahead and run these to see how long it takes. And, and while it's doing that, just to explain that, so once we are done with this, we'll have three lists, right? Images, age, and gender. We just are going to convert those into NumPy arrays. And then, yeah, let me explain this part while this is loading. And then I'm going to define two different uh, data sets here. One is for age training. The other one is for gender training. Why two different? Because for the age training, my Y train is different, right? So my Y train is my age. My X is images for both. 
my x is images but my y my predicted value is uh, age in the first one in the first data set and it is gender in the second data set that's it so once you have that then i am going to define two models one for age and one for gender yeah let's look at the age one so age again your guess is as good as mine when it comes to putting this together yeah i added a few convolutional layers like four convolutional layers and then i have a dense layer with 512 and finally the important thing here is the output layer has one node with uh, uh, y because uh, our age is just one number that it's giving me it's not a classification problem yeah so that's why i'm using a linear activation right there and mean squared error loss and mean uh, you know average error as the metric and adam as the optimizer so this is my age model and you can imagine my gender model here is also output is one right there but we are using the binary cross entropy loss and then ma uh, metrics as accuracy because this is a classification problem this is not like a regression problem so the first one is a regression problem the second one is a classification problem so i define these two models that's it and then i'm going to train one after the other if you're creative, you can combine these up to such a certain point because most of these layers are the same as you can see up to certain point, up to this point, and then this point, this, this model is different. So you can define a combined model up to this point and then say, okay, my gender model is that plus compile it this way. Uh, I chose to separate these. Uh, that's my way uh, you know, of handling it right here. So once you do that, once you train these, I already saved these to gender model 50 epochs and age model 50 epochs. We just need to load them and uh, make the predictions. And you probably know, I mean, the, you, you can probably guess that uh, for babies, the gender would be not as accurate because it, it's tough. And also the age is not an easy thing. You know, it can go, I think anyone between, I would say 30s to 50s, uh, it, it can be a bit challenging. Based on my testing here, uh, depending on the lighting, depending on whether you wash your face, depending on whether you apply makeup, right? Uh, many of these things actually control the age factor. So age is a bit difficult, especially using, uh, are we resizing the images? Probably not, especially using 200 by 200 pixel images. Uh, you don't have enough, uh, enough uh, you know, clarity to kind of uh, positively say uh, age. Gender can also be a challenging one especially if you have a nice clean shaved face and uh, you know you are having weird emotions then it's tough to uh, tough to uh, predict the gender so that's uh, uh, saying that, you know that said let's uh, wait for this data to be loaded i'm loading the entire 27000 uh, images each uh, uh, each i should have actually added a generator data generator but we are loading the entire data because i can in this case again in the last video, we used a uh, data augmentation approach. You can you can use exactly the same thing. Like I said earlier, the goal for this tutorial is to generate these two models so we can use them in the next uh, video and the one after that. So let me pause this so we can quickly test the result and then uh, and then we'll call it uh, a quits for this uh, for this video. Okay, so this is uh, this is done. So let's go ahead and uh, check the model. So let's uh, load the model, load our model right there, and make the predictions. And I put a threshold of zero point five right there. And uh, again, I'm I'm just checking the gender model here. You can also check the age, uh, but I'm just checking gender right here. So let's go ahead and check the accuracy. Oh, sorry. What does it say? Why test gender is not uh why test gender is not yeah obviously it's not <laughs> right there that is because we did not do these steps so once we have those then we'll have everything we need for our quick test so let's do this one more time there you go So we're getting an accuracy of 87.9% for gender. That's not bad, actually, given that we have babies all the way, you know, uh, uh, to older older people. So let's uh, check the confusion map to see where the mistakes are going 
on uh, or how much of these mistakes so 20 uh, what is that uh, yeah 27,000 25,000 right here and 3,000 300 and 400 misclassifications that's not bad go ahead and test out uh, even for the age and see how well you're performing I tested this uh, it, I wasn't that great but I let that uh, I'll leave that for you guys so let's definitely meet in the next video we'll we'll bring these concepts together and then let's see first of all by not even thinking about tensorflow just using Keras on Windows machine like how how the how do we combine all of these into one emotion detection or live facial uh, uh, age and gender detection model. So let's meet in the next video. Please do subscribe. Thank you.